called entitled Infamous Incidents Change is Coming. So take your places. <laughs> Infamous Incidents, a three-act look back at the history of this congregation and its adaptability. <clears throat> Bristol was originally called New Cambridge. As winters were hard and cold, the people living in New Cambridge asked permission of the General Assembly for what was known as winter privileges, which meant meeting in people's homes rather than traveling the great distance to the home church in Farmington. Permission was granted. After a time, the New Cambridge folk wished to establish their own church. Change is coming to New Cambridge. Change is coming to New Cambridge. Finally, the group met to select a minister. A moderator, Nehemiah Manross, was selected from among the men of the group. The Reverend Mr. Samuel Newell was put forth to be called. Much discussion followed. I say we call Mr. Newell a graduate of Yale. No, no, he has strongly held Calvinistic views. I believe in the Calvinistic view of predestination. So you believe that before we are even born, God has determined what sins we will commit. He is a strong preacher. Even so, is he right for us? I think so. Let's put it to a vote. All those in favor, raise your hands. Approve. We shall call the Reverend Mr. Newell. I cannot abide this. I prefer to say this is not my opinion. Woman, my opinion is also yours. Come. <laughs> the group that left declared themselves for the Church of England. This sparked the first Episcopal Church in New Cambridge. The church adapted. A school of singing was established in town. People wanted to introduce into worship the hymns they so enjoyed singing at the school. Some saw no harm in using musical instruments that greatly added to the success of community singing. Change is coming. Will the church adapt? Mm -hmm. Lord, to you my soul is lifted. Lord, to you my soul is lifted. Let me never be ashamed. Let me never be ashamed. That I trust in you. Try to 
singing some of the new songs from the singing school. What new songs? Why, unfamiliar hymns, of course. <laughs> that is not our bet. Absolutely not. <laughs> but try they did. Some people wouldn't or couldn't tolerate this departure from the severe simplicity of Puritan worship. So they. General repairs to the meeting house were made in 1871. Most noticeable was the absence of few doors. It was noted in the press that no more would prove a few doors tear dresses, squeak on hinges, or pinch fingers. <laughs> Children could no longer hide behind them and whisper. Pews were assigned based on a person's social standing in the community and their contribution to the church. Pew assignments and pew doors contributed to several incidents. Let's take a peek back in history. I am not happy with my assigned pew. I definitely should be much closer to the front. You most certainly should not. Now sit down and be quiet. I definitely do not agree. I deserve much better. Your assigned pew will not be changed. Then I will sit on the floor. <coughs> and another incident. Scene two. Excuse me, sir. You may not sit in this pew. Please allow me in. Not at all. This pew is not for the likes of you. Is not this church for everyone? Well, well, well maybe so, but she must go sit elsewhere. The removal of pew doors was significant change that was not welcomed by all. Once again, change had come. Could the people adapt? Change we did and continue to do. As time passed, the congregation grew in its understanding of Jesus' meaning of love for all, which continues to this day. <laughs> Thank 